in step four, now that we've selected our first loop, we want to make sure that whatever this number says, this BPM matches what the BPM is up here. This BPM controls the speed of the entire song. So we can see that this is 80, but this is 120. So we need 120 to also say 80. So we're going to double click on it. We're going to type in 80 and we're going to hit the enter button. Now, before I hit it, I want you to look at how long this loop is right now. It's going from the beginning of one until the end of six. When I hit the enter button, it goes from the beginning of one to the end of four which is good. So now that it's already the size that I want it, I don't adjust the tempo. So now I see this is 80, this is 80. Now to see if it really is on beat, we're gonna turn this thing on, this is called a metronome. Beep, 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 beep. That helps you to stay on beat. We're gonna drag a loop. All right, and I did that by going to my ruler. Starting at one and dragging over that red line means that anything under that red line is going to play over and over again when, every time it gets to the end. All right. So now all I got to do is hit the play button and listen to the click sound and my beat this. See if they're matched up. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, now that everything's lined up and on tempo, we can move on.